Good morning guys. So today, as you already know, we have a very exciting review because we are finally looking at Lockhart's anti-gravity matte paste and basically out of all the products I've heard of from like different home brewers that we've kind of followed for the past like oh my god it would have been like four or five years like this has been one of the products that have been like long long in development have just sat in like the R&D phase and I've heard about it thought it was out a long time ago but it turns out it it's only just released so for something that has spent so much time in development we have very high hopes for and so that's I mean let's just go into it and go ahead and look at the jar so ever since they released that new like Lockhart's professional line years ago like the look has been pretty consistent amongst that line at least you got like the matte clay you got the hair groom blah 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 and anti-gravity is like the newest one so you have Lockhart's professional anti-gravity very off-white gray scale-esque uh, type of color scheme here looks pretty nice pretty clean uh matte finish uh, label then you have a clear label onto a uh, plastic amber jar lockhart's anti-gravity once again um stats on the side and directions and ingredients on the other i believe this is still it's not so it's not exactly a four ounce it's a 3.7 hundred uh, grams so they go for that like kind of like that iso weight size but overall pretty similar so opening it up the product inside looks a lot like a clay but definitely has a weird kind of looks kind of sticky like a matte paste and we'll see whether that that stays true during the actual application performance the smell of this pomade like if you actually look at the official listing there's just like five or six like names for each like layer and so that's just way too much not even gonna pay attention to that I'm just give you guys like an overall feel which is actually like really nice cologne cologne in that it has this cool like 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 it has this it's not menthol but like this cool feeling with some like kind of smooth not sweet just really smooth musky feel to it and on top there's kind of just some like there's some herbalness to it but that's not very present overall very kind of cool and refreshing scent is what i get out of it so using it we have like basically some towel dried hair kind of basically drying for a bit and thankfully this thing scoops out very easily i was kind of nervous a bit because it doesn't look like it but it scoops out and it actually looked kind of like a <laughs> cookies and cream type of paste. But go ahead and apply it. So it seems very like a very light application. It looks very easy. Kind of what I was worried about because like, well, typically what's happened is that like when uh, a lot of home brewers try to do this like salon t uh, product type of thing. Um, we've seen something that either ends up super grippy, like um, the flagship matte paste, or we find something that is kind of in order to achieve the like a lot of hold, the high like strength, and then a very extremely like weightless feel. It's ended ended up making the application process somewhat brutal, and we can feel the grip coming out here, and so it's, it's definitely present here but it's definitely not to the extreme that we see with other products and we'll see whether or not it gets worse over time as that add more but yeah application you can definitely feel the grip but it's not nothing it's not impossible right now it's not as bad as like what we've seen elsewhere i can definitely still run my hands through i can still definitely still work with it so going for very small applications amounts right now and what i'm going to try to do is really place it like underneath here where I need it for styling difficult thing is even if I come in from the back right now it grips to the first thing that it touches so just keep that in mind and that this product like many other things with a high grip once it touches the hair it really grips onwards and onto the hair and so kind of it's not like a oral water-based product where you apply it and then you 
work with it into and deeper into your hair. This one thing will definitely grip whatever it touches first. So with that done, go ahead, just comb everything back. So you definitely don't want to apply this product to like completely dry hair. Towel dry hair right after you get out of the shower. If you're kind of like doing other things and you let your hair dry, do wet it again. It will make the application process a lot easier, not only more comfortable, but easier to really apply everything everywhere. So, anyways, go ahead and start styling the fit now. And what you're trying to do is basically, if you're like me and you're going to style the product blow dryer because, I mean, if a product requires you to use a blow dryer, I don't know why I would purchase something that needs me to, like, purchase another thing that's just trying to, like, have me spend all this money for all these excessive, like, amounts of tools in order to do something that's pretty simple. So, ideally, you can time it such that it dries while you style, which actually isn't that hard at all and what you get is something that can provide very good volume good shape beautiful texture that actually is provides coarse and also pushing more towards like the medium um, texture as well so a wide range of textures and with very very lightweight so it feels pretty clean right now so it's a little sticky and a little grippy so that you can kind of feel that a bit but overall very lightweight and we'll see how it really fares through the day but this is definitely like one of those super lightweight almost weightless like medium slightly firm like hold and just very much beautiful texture so yeah very nice so just to go through the list, um, consistency, it's actually really, not, it, it truly is like a paste cream of sorts in the jar. They did a good, they did a great job of achieving that application to towel dry hair or moist hair. Let your hair be wet when you apply it easier, more comfortable. Um, the finish is a solid uh, matte, matte below neutral, matte neutral is. Um, the texture coarse to medium so you definitely expect a lot of texture out of this product and be comfortable with that and the strength I would definitely put medium firm not super strong medium firm but yeah and then styling it definitely more akin to some of the other matte pastes we've seen especially like something comparable to the flagship like matte paste there just a little easier to use in this case right here with this product but yeah so Go throughout the whole day now, and we'll see how it fares. Alright, so we're pretty late into the afternoon now, and let's go ahead and wrap up this review before I start cooking and my whole place starts smelling like Nick Mom. Okay, so this is how it is at the end of the day. I mean, I had to add water to restyle it, but as we would expect out of some sort of texturizing product, the endurance is rather poor. Um, I think we've only seen like one or two, like, and they've been mostly like clay pomades that have been somewhat resilient, but for matte paces, like, I don't think we've really seen anything that is super kind of just untouchable foundation. And so it kind of it got messed up. We expect it to get messed up. Um, restyling it, you definitely need water. This isn't like some sort of clay where it stays present, it stays goopy. Once it starts getting like messed up, it starts breaking it. It reminds me a lot of like a gel pomade. This also is really unsimilar to other matte pastes we've used. So it is more fragile. Yes, it's also like probably the lightest weight one we've experienced, but it's more brittle. It's a little more just like fragile. It hardens to a little bit of extent, not like the extent that we like know from a gel pomade, but familiar in a way. So water add in you can reactivate it you're not going to get as much volume at all out of it you can try to style it back it'll keep out of your face and whatnot but overall it is sensitive um 
Hardness again, just to touch on that again, it does stiffen a bit, does not harden like a gel pomade. I mean, to the extent of gel pomade, but it is light and familiar to a gel pomade in that regard. Overall, feel like feel of it doesn't feel super dry, it also doesn't feel greasy at all, just very, very comfortable in general. And washing it out, just add water, rinses out very easily. So, overall, this is another matte paste in our in our market now. This is probably the lightest weight, a medium or more balanced hold and styling process. Uh, for some, like, kind of on the other side of the spectrum, you have something like the Sheer Revival Matte Paste. Super, like, strong, a little brutal in a way. And then I feel like this is on the other side of the spectrum where matte pastes we've seen from our market tend to be a little more brutal, a little more, like, hammer to a needle type of like approach but this one is a little more finesse it is one of the lightest ones it is the lightest one we've seen in regards to weight more balance and hold and so for kind of someone who doesn't need as much volume but can take it and whose hair you don't really need it to be perfect kind of formidable or just like a straight up fortress during the day then this would be a good choice the scent's also amazing the application like the feel of it is also very unique and it's just softer in general in many ways it's just lighter softer more finessed in general and so that's what i would recommend it for if you're looking for something like if you're like hoping for something a little more just like damn strong this might not be the uh, best like choice maybe something like uh, flagship matte paste some of the other options but for something that's soft finesse light this would be the one but yeah so hope you guys have something out of this review this has been Lockhart's anti-gravity we do offer a promo code the pump all caps if you guys do choose for this one we offer it for a bunch of different brands but for this one we do offer it save you a bit of money as long as you buy direct from Lockhart's but other than that take care guys and peace out